soldiers and police officers regularly face these weapons. So how do they protect themselves? The answer is body armor. There are two types of modern body armor, hard and soft. Designers developed hard body armor to deflect the enormous power of a rifle round. It consists of thick ceramic or metal plates and works like a medieval suit of armor. The armor absorbs the energy of most bullets. In law enforcement, soft body armor is designed mainly to stop a handgun bullet. It's flexible protection, worn like a jacket, that allows more movement than hard armor. Armored clothing stops a bullet by working like a very strong net. Think of a soccer goal. The net is made up of interlinking lengths of string. When a player kicks the soccer ball towards the goal, it carries energy, like a bullet round. When the ball hits the net, it pushes into the strings. Each string pulls others within the web, spreading the impact over a wide area, making the entire net absorb the ball's energy. A soft bulletproof vest absorbs energy the same way. The vests are woven from Kevlar. Kevlar is lightweight, but pound for pound is five times stronger than steel. Weave it into a dense net, and you get massive energy-absorbing results. An officer wearing uh, soft body armor uh, who is shot generally suffers some kind of bruising or some contusion uh, behind the vest because of the amount of energy generated, but it's dissipated. Here's how it works in the real world. First, the soft armor. From short range, Grissom fires a 9 mm A 45 caliber bullet. Then a shotgun loaded with buckshot. The vest's outer layer stops both the 45 and the 9 mm bullets and one of the shotgun pellets. The other eight shotgun pellets lodged in the inner layers of the vest. The soft armor stopped everything that was thrown at it. But it wouldn't stop a rifle round. For that, we need the hard ceramic plate armor. Grissom fires a 7.62 millimeter sniper's round at short range. This bullet is five times more powerful than the 45 round. You see the rifle round strike and you'll see the ceramic separated. The outer ceramic has taken the brunt of the force, the bullet lodging in the metal back plate. You can see the pieces of ceramic. This is what's left of the bullet. But the bullet has not penetrated the armor. Soft armor works for handguns and shotguns, and hard armor for rifles. It's all part of understanding the behavior of bullets.